Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to Mama Sanity. Today is Tuesday, March the 19th, and I hope you're having a great day so far. Today's scripture is about teamwork and doing things um, with a positive attitude. And then our little prayer for today is about staying strong. And then I'll end for a quote for the day. Cooperation is doing with a smile what you have to do anyway. Teamwork takes cooperation, delegation. No one can do it all. Perform your, bet, your, perform your part well by doing what you need to do with a positive attitude. Be generous with your help, willing to share your knowledge, ideas, and expertise with everyone else on the team. Whether you're a team consists of a family, club members, special interest associates, or workplace group, view your team as a body, each of it working toward a mutual good health and emotional well-being. That is very um, good advice. You know, we all are in a team of some sort. Whether, you know, I don't go to work in a job per se, but I am on a team at my home. I'm a team as a wife and as a mom. I'm a team as a daughter. I'm a team as a sister and as a friend. Um, I'm a team to my, my neighbors. And, you know, they say it takes a village to raise, raise children. And that's kind of a team. So whatever team environment you're in, you need to do your part with a positive attitude. And if you have ideas to help others on your team, share it. You're, you are all working toward the same goal. You're all working toward helping each other and getting one main thing accomplished whether that be raising your children, having a great marriage, whether that be um, a project at work, or whatever it is. It's something that you're working toward, and so you not only need to do it with a positive attitude, but you need to do it with kindness, and you need to do it with helpfulness. If you see somebody on your team struggling, you really need to help them and try and pick up the slack. You know, it's, it's all about doing things not just with kindness, but also with a positive attitude. Um, Joyce Myers always talks about doing things with a smile. Um, you know, there are times when I just feel like, oh, I don't want to do this. You know, there's, you know, I have daily chores that I, that I do, you know, around the house and everything. And, you know, there are times where I kind of dread it. And she, she talks about not dreading the things that you have to do anyway. You know, if that is driving to work and you're stuck in traffic, yes, traffic is not great situation and traffic is very frustrating, but do it with a smile. Be thankful that you even have a car that you're stuck in traffic with. A lot of people don't even have money for a car. Um, grocery shopping. There are times when I like to go grocery shopping because that's kind of like my alone time, but there are also times where I dread grocery shopping. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to go three hours at the grocery store. But I've got to think of the positive. At least I have money for the groceries. You know, so if you think of things like that, at least I have a house to clean. Do I enjoy scrubbing my toilets and mopping the floor and sweeping and vacuuming every day and doing laundry and stuff? I don't enjoy it, but I'm going to do it with a positive attitude. Why? Because I have a roof over my head, I have clothes on my back, and I have a home and I have a family. So that's something to think positively about. So I know I've talked um, a lot before about thinking positive, but it's very true in life. If you just think positive, it'll make your day go a lot smoother. And also if you're doing things in a team and you do it with a positive attitude and a positive outlook on what you're doing and you're also giving helpful ideas, I can probably guarantee it's going to help the others on your team kind of do their part with a positive attitude and things will probably move along a lot faster. So that was the scripture for today. Um, today's prayer is about um, staying strong. Heavenly Father, today and every day I will keep my head up, keep smiling, keep fighting, and I will stand strong, firm, and persevere because you are by my side. Thank you for teaching me that the enemy fights me the hardest when my breakthrough and answer is about to show up in my life. Therefore, when negativity and troubles are thrown at me from all corners, I will not get angry and quit, but I will keep moving forward and give you the praise. I thank you for using the negativity in my life to prepare me, mold me, and propel me into my destiny. 
Everything that is happening in my life now, you will use for my good. Amen. That is so true. Like I said before, we all have a past. We've all had bad things happen to us. And, you know, there are things that have happened to me in my life that years down the road, I may find the answer and I, I look back and I say, oh, now I understand why I went through what I went through because it's helping me with this situation. There are some things that have happened in my life that I may never know the answer. I may never understand why they happened. But even though I may not understand why they happened, they have still molded me into the person that I am today, trying to help people and love people and, and show kindness and show positivity. And so I think that everything that we go through in our life is meant for a purpose. And whether, like I said before, whether we find that purpose or not, it's still going to be a part of us and help us to help others in the future because we've gone through certain things that other people have gone through. I really like in this that it says the enemy, um, the enemy really comes at you the worst when you're at your, you, when you're closest to your breakthrough. And that is so true. There are many times where I've had little miracles here and there that have happened. And you know, when I look back at it, I'm thinking, I went through a crazy storm days before that miracle happened. You know, there's times when things just kept coming at me, kept coming at me, and I'm just like, I don't know where to go from here. I don't know what to do. I can't take one more hit. And that is the enemy coming at me saying, Brandy, just give up. It's not going to happen. Help's not on its way. Help's not coming. You know, God's too busy with other people. Who are you? God's not going to help you. Those are all lies. No matter how little we are. God is a big, big God. And God is there for every single person in this world. And I think it's because I didn't give up that I got my little miracle. It's because I, I, I said, enemy, I'm not going to listen to you. I know that God is listening. I know that he sees what's going on and he is going to help me get my breakthrough that I need to get through this situation. And he did. And so it's times like that that you need, just need to realize that when, you, when you're going through this crazy hurricane of a storm, don't give up. The enemy wants you to give up. The enemy is filling your mind and your body with all these things saying, give up. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. And you're just saying, I'm going to quit. You're just saying, I can't take one more blow. God is on your side. God is going to stretch out his hand and pull you up out of the storm. So don't give up. Um, the quote for today is, I will breathe. I will think of solutions. I will not let my worry control me. I will not let my stress level break me. I will simply breathe. I will be okay because I will not quit. This is tied into the prayer. Um, there is a, a Christian song. I listen to K-Love all the time. And there's this, um, one of my favorite Christian songs is by Johnny Diaz and it's breathe. And if you have a chance to look up that song, I suggest you do it. There, Like I said, I listen to K-Love all the time, so it's always on in my truck. But there have been times where I have been going through that storm, and I've been driving, and I'm just like, you know, I'm depressed, or I'm angry, or I'm frustrated, or I'm just, I'm confused, so I don't know what to do. And that song comes on. And to me, that's like a slap in the face from God saying, Brandy, breathe. I've got this. I've got it under control. I, you do your part, and I know that you feel like you're running 90,000 miles a day and nothing's getting accomplished, but it is, and I will do the rest. So I'm going to end with you, end today with stay strong, stay positive, don't quit, and just breathe. So that's all I have for you today, and I hope that you have a great afternoon and stay sane.